Ever see the, the schoolroom globes, mm -hmm. the, the geographic globes, and you rub your finger over Nepal and you get the, mm -hmm. the, the Himalayas? Yeah, yeah, and you get the Rockies. And you say, oh, oh, that is a gross exaggeration of reality. Yes. Gr Do you realize if you took Earth with all of its mountains, valleys, and hills, and, and shrunk it down to the size of a cue ball, it would be smoother than any cue ball ever machined. Think about it. What? Think think about this. Joe. Really? Joe. Everest? Joe, chill. It's called the Planetary Protection Program in NASA. It's got it's a whole division of NASA. It's protecting Earth from bugs that could be coming from space on our own spaceship that we bring back. And it protects destinations from us. There's a certain sterilization levels that we invoke. The Cassini spacecraft, we plunge that back into Saturn in its death um, when we were done with it and ran out of money, we're done with it, plunged into Saturn to vaporize. We didn't leave it in orbit around Saturn. Why? Because it might have crashed into one of Saturn's moons that might have life. And if someone had sneezed on the spacecraft before it got launched, we don't want to contaminate the life that we are later going to one day want to study. What? New Year's is celebrated in 24 time zones, not all at the same time. Right. So it's interesting, everyone thinks of that as a moment. Mm. Yet it's really a calendar event. I'm sorry, it's a, it's a clock event. It's celebrated over 24 hours. Yeah, if you're in Thailand, it's 14 hours different. So therefore, if you were to do it astrophysically, you would know the exact moment where we returned in our orbit, and everybody would celebrate that instant. Mm. And that would be, so then the whole world would celebrate the new year at the same time. That's, uh. It means you value it differently. It's not a